In this video, I'm going to show how to use Split View with the RAD Studio C++ Builder in VCL form. The new Split View control allows you to easily show and hide transient content. For example, you may use it as a top level navigation menu where the navigation content is hidden and slides in when needed. If you are used to coding in HTML5, it is very similar to the responsive menu. It is also called hamburger menu. There is a good C++ VCL example in samples about the split view. Before coding, I want to show how it works. When the split view is open, it can be docked to the left or right edge of the form or displayed on the top of the client area form. When it is closed, the split view can be completely hidden or a smaller portion of the split view can remain visible like this. So, you can use detailed menu in desktop applications with icons and text and your application on the small screens may use compact menu with only icons. You can control this by checking width of the screen or form. Now I'm gonna show how to do this. New VCL form application here and we need two panels. Panel 1 will be top panel, so we're gonna align this to the top. And the panel 2 will be client panel here, somewhere. And we need a split view. It can be found on the Windows 10 category here. Our split view will be left side, you can change to the right. And panel 2 will be client panel, so I'm gonna align this to the client. And we don't need caption for this panel. We also need an image here on the top panel. And this will be aligned to the left and picture will be split view example menu picture as shown here and let's change the color to understand better something like this okay now I want to do this when when I click to the image if split view one which we create now is opens then split view one close else Split view one open. Also, I want to do this when the form size is changed, split view will automatically change. So go to the events on resize event and double click. If form 1 width is smaller than the 640, then splits wave 1 close. Now let's check this example. Okay. One more thing. I'm going to change the color of the split view to the black. So you can see better. Okay. When I click the menu, split view closes with animation, and when I click again, it opens. 
also when the form size is changed, split view also changes. Now let's add some menu here with custom category buttons. There's a category buttons here. This will be top buttons. And we don't need style border style, we don't need it. Now double click on it, create a new category. This category name will be general. And there are items here in this category, so let's create category items. Item one, two, three. This will be home. And other will be layout. And the other will be power. You can control the category button properties here. There is a button options. So I want full size buttons as shown here. So you can change the color of this, maybe um, teal like this. Yes. Also, I want image list. So I'm going to use image list on the split view example. From the split view example, yeah, this is. But you can create a, your image list here, and. This category buttons images are from the image icons here, and home will be image one, layout will be image two, power will be image three, and we can also change the size of it to the thirty-two maybe. Yes. Now let's check this. Now we have. Split view, which control it by manually or automatically as the form changes the size here. You can use also compact split view, so you can change it close style to the compact and yes. And compact width will be 60. Now we can close this, and then you can see only icons here. So it is automatically changed the view. Thank you for watching.